Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm Mr. Vyperfang, and here's a long-ass cutscene. Enjoy! <laughs> Hello, Zant! You're super creepy. I have a snake to protect me. How do you... What do you think about that, bitch? Oh. Uh... Well, I'm screwed. Hello, Twilight Realm. Hello, Wolf Link. Sant! Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? You are a foolish traitor, Midna. Why do you defy your king? My king? You who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe? You must be joking! How dare you! Are you implying that my power is our old magic? Now that is a joke! This power is the is granted to be my my god! It is the magic of the King of Twilight, and you will respect it! Oh, we've got a thorn in our forehead. Oh, that's larger than a thorn, and oh god, why do I why do I feel funny now? My Midna, did you forget that the beast is the one of the light dwellers who oppressed our people? No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we can make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm, and sweet darkness will blot out the harsh light. And that, Midna, is why. I need you. Not just for me, but for all our people. Lend me your power. So be it. I will return you to the light world you covet. Unleash the power of the sun! Sunny D. And I think we just got teleported to, quote-unquote, safety? And we're still a wolf in the light world, so... Link, hero chosen by the goddesses. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. That princess holds the key that can unlock you from your shadow form. Alright, so... Midna doesn't look too good. 
does she? Apparently being a sh creature of the Twilight Realm, getting blasted with uh, light isn't very good for her. Now she is uh, in kind of dire straits, and we've got to go and uh, see if uh, we can turn ourselves back to normal through Zelda. Also, it's nighttime and raining, so we need to look out for enemies. So let's go on ahead and make our way over to the castle and see if we can make our way to Zelda. We've got to make our way past all the Bacoblins, make sure that no Bacoblins shoot us with arrows. You know, like this one right here. Also, with uh, Midna in the way she is, we cannot use her uh, special Twilight Area attack. So, we're back to using conventional attacks. And I'm being serious in saying that if you are in hero mode, you do not want to take uh, a lot of damage. Because up until a certain point, it's going to be hard to heal. Also, we can talk to animals because we're a wolf right now. I just hate the rain. I can't stand. I can't get comfortable or s whenever I sit or stand. Maybe my sixth sense is trying to tell me something. And I guess the cats are just talking about their cat problems. Also, because we're a wolf, we're going to be scaring a lot of the townsfolk. So be prepared to be spooked by a lot of uh, people fearing you. Not spooked or just... Be prepared to see a lot of people being scared by you. Alright, so we can get into the castle through the front gate, right? Let's see if we can get past these guards. Okay, I stand corrected. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. We've got to find another way in, then. Oh, another kitty. It's really coming down. At this rate, today's meeting will be canceled. Hmm. Looks like the animals uh, meet and... I guess talk about cat things? I don't know. Oh, another one. You look so stern. With that look on your face, you'll frighten the humans. Uh, good to know, but I look stern for a reason. Do you notice the thing on my back that's looking kind of bleh? Haven't seen your face around here before. If you want to know about this town, you should ask Louise, Telma's cat. Oh, let's uh, go on ahead and head to the bar then. Thank you, kitty. I appreciate the information. Oh boy, I bet Telma's going to be happy to see us. Hey, Telma, I need to talk to your cat for a second. Can you let me in real quick? Beast, get out! Uh, uh, okay, guess not. Okay, bye. You there. Oh, there's the cat. Oh, wow, that's uh, quite the puddle of water there. You're Link, correct? Hmm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm Luis. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh, another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. Please! Princess Zelda! This way. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose that's all... I suppose all that's left to do is make sure the humans don't notice you. Uh, Alright, so... We gotta find a way to get up there, and... That way is through this box that we're pushing. You know, I'm surprised with the way uh, Midna is at the moment. She's been able, able to hang on to us uh, with a pretty good grip. Oh. Ah. Ropes. And I guess that's the way to the waterway. Uh, notice all the pots that are around that are very, very close to the edge. 
yeah, don't push them over. Although, for some of these pots, it may be impossible to avoid them. Just saying. Also, when we're on the ropes, we can actually eavesdrop on, uh, people. So, I think I'll go on ahead and try listening in to the conversations. The Elder told me to escort Telma, but the city air does not suit my skin. Alright, so he's just worried about, uh, the air of the town. I would be too. Sounds like it could stink a lot. How's it come to this, huh? Monsters walking in the streets of town? What in the world are the soldiers of Hyrule doing? The Gorons are so much more reliable than they are, it's not even funny. Alright, so... Stick to the left of, uh... This, uh... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get, 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 get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Don't panic. Don't panic. Place. Yeah, it's very important you don't drop any pots because you'll get kicked out and have to do this all over again. Okay, there we are. I think that's the only pot you're gonna have to move. I heard that an acquaintance of Telma's defeated the beast that had been attacking tourists on the bridge. His name was Link. It sounds as though he brought Telma to her young ward and her young ward to Kakarika Village. And here I was, thinking Hyrule was empty of men of valor. Oh no, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. No, my understanding is that he's from a small neighboring province of Ordona. This may sound horribly elitist, but people who do not know the city simply do not know fear. Oh. If I had the right mind to, I'd maul you for that, but whatever. Anyway. We've successfully made it across, and now we can stop worrying about crashing any pots. Oh. Uh. Interesting. We're inside of a, uh. Big ol' treasure area, and there's a gold statue with a golden cat on its head. Hey, where'd that ghost come from? Hey, don't just stand there. Get that ghost! Uh, ghost? Oh! It's a Poe! Since we're a wolf, uh, we can actually take these guys out now. Let's go on ahead and go into our sense mode, and... Hey, look at that! We can actually, uh, see them, and more importantly, we can actually attack them. Back up. Attack again. Get it down. And we can actually use our, uh, finisher on them when they're down. You got the Poe's soul. Collect one from each Poe you defeat. See how many you have on the collection screen. So yeah, uh, we can defeat Poe's now. And concerning Poe's, I'm probably not going to be going after all of them because there's really not much you get for getting all of them. However, I will be getting a certain amount of them. I think I'm going to be going for like 20 of them throughout the rest of the Let's Play. So yeah. We're going to be taking out a lot of ghosts. It's too spooky for me, though. Oh, th thanks for beating the ghost. Can I call you Doggy? I'm Giovanni. I I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat Grangle is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask a favor of you, Doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. And I'm surprised that he was able to do that without moving. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? Oh, that must be the uh, meeting place of the uh, creatures. Of the cats, not the creatures. Well, I suppose they are a type of creature, but, uh, they're too adorable to be creatures, in my opinion. Alright. Yay, a water slide! Also, we've got rats, so you can either avoid them or attack them so that they don't attack you. Alright, doors open. Going down another water slide. Oh, look at that! We've got, uh, some 
Skulltulas. You can attack them, though. There we go. Just simply attack them, go after them as uh, fast as you can, and you'll be able to beat them. That was actually easier, uh, somewhat easier than doing it with a sword. All right. We're also going to need to take the stick with us and uh, burn some spider webs down and light some torches. It is really important that we do this because... Oh, God. And there we go. There's one. There's two. Taking these keys down now so that they don't uh, hurt me too much later. There we go. All right. Those torches are lit. That's mainly so that I can actually get up here without risking losing the uh, fire from the stick. There we go. I think that's the last one we need to take out. Yeah. Oh, look at that. More keys. Bap. Boop. Boop. There we go. Oh, one more? There you go. All right. And we've got some bacoblins inside the underground waterway, so let's go on ahead and deal with these guys. Oh, nice. I got a rupee for my troubles. Beautiful. Uh, goodbye. Oh, hey, this looks familiar. Looks like we're uh, in the original part of the waterway that we were in when we first became a wolf. But uh, things are slightly different. The water level is a little bit higher, and there's the goblins around. Oh, God. All right, that takes care of him. If you do knock the goblins in the water, it is an insta-kill, so if you can manage it, be sure to take out the, the goblins like that. And I think the rest of these guys do not have bows and arrows, so don't worry about getting hit by their arrows. Instead, worry about getting hit by their uh, clubs. There we go. And there are a lot more ropes here, which means we can actually traverse here a lot easier since we can't use Mitna's uh, jumping ability to get up. Oh, God. Uh... Reposition the camera. There we go. Also, probably a good idea not to uh, rush getting up here. Just take your time and focus on getting on the ropes, specifically. That way you don't have to do any of this all over again. There we go. Oh, wow, we actually managed to get onto a uh, rope below us. Actually, I thought we were going to fall into the water. But at the very least, we managed to knock out that Bacoblin in one hit. A good way to get onto the ropes uh, in spots where the camera can't really uh, position itself properly is to just uh, lock the camera behind you and go forward. There we go. Nice. I think we're back to where we were. Yeah, looks like it. And now we've got to cross uh, some more ropes. Basically, just lock the camera behind you. When you get close enough to the goblin, jump off the rope and attack him. There we go. Oh, I was wrong. Uh, apparently, there was one more goblin with a bow and arrow. There's one. There's two. And, oh, I, uh... I got two. Cool. All right, anything up here does not look like it, but the door down here is open, so we can actually go through the front door of the of this tower this time around. All right, we want to take out the bow guy first. There we go. Now we can keep moving forward. Also looks like all the guards are gone, so we can't see what they're talking about. 
And we wouldn't be able to anyway because they're actually corporeal this time around. Also, they'd be scared crapless by us, most likely. And we've got regular uh, buzzards to deal with instead of uh, twilight buzzards. They work the exact same way, though. I want to try to knock them all out, though. Oh, we got some uh, boxes over there we can take out. Uh, is that bird coming back? Also, we've got a wind gust to deal with. Uh, I want to get over to these boxes. There we go. Ooh, it's a good thing we came over here then. Don't do that. I'm going to wait for the wind to cycle again. I'm actually glad I came over here. I didn't know there was a purple rupee over here. Here. Very nice. No other bokoblins at the moment. Okay. I thought I was going to jump off the bridge as soon as I landed on it at the angle I jumped. Yay, more rupees. Also, we've got more birds to deal with. Let's just go on ahead and knock this guy out. See if we can get up here without getting hit. And we're in. Very nice. And now all we need to do is just go up the stairs. And we're in the Chamber of Zelda. Again. Wait. Where'd she go? Uh, Midna, you're kind of looking worse. Oh, hi, Zelda. Please, please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is the one. You need him to save your world. That's why, princess. Please, you must help Link. You know, I just realized that, uh, we've, Zelda's only ever seen Link in this game as a wolf. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when we first passed the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away the darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the gar lands guarded by the spirit Pharaon. There you will find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that can that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Uh, does that mean cleaving my forehead? Uh, or do you mean philosophically cleave? Uh, I'm I'm confused by your sentence, Zelda. Link, hero sent by the goddesses. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddesses. Goddesses. Man, I need to learn how to read on the fly better. Fine, Link. You can you can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell him where to find the Mirror of Twilight? Midna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Midna. I pass it to you. Uh, 
Oh. Did... Did she pass her... Triforce of Wisdom onto Midna, or... What the hell just happened? She just faded out of existence. But looks like Midna's a lot better, and look, more importantly, she's actually mobile inside the Realm of Light. So... Yeah. We go back, Link. Back to Farron Woods. Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. Well, I guess thanks to Zelda, Midna can exist in both the Twilight Realm and the Light Realm. And now there's a diamond all around the castle, so... Well, it looks like we can't get back yet. We're gonna have to deal with that a lot later, aren't we? Oh, we have our target. Next time, we're gonna go on ahead and make our way over to Farron Woods and see if we can find this Master Sword and dispel the evil that's surrounding Link. Also, get the hell away from me, damn goblin. All right, now I'm gonna end it. Next time, we're gonna do what I just said and hopefully not get inter interrupted by another goblin. Later.